So one last thing, and then I just try to get inside and hunt my nemesis. Is this one of her paintings? Luca, his eyes upon me. The slashes on her fa his face with all the color shapes remind me of Hawk from Dragon Age 2. Now your painting is mine. Oh. You can't see me. You don't see me. I'm invisible. Okay, he definitely sees me. But maybe I'll get away with ignoring them. Here it is. The gazebo where your mom died. Has hatred for my mother knows no end. What, she make like an effigy to her death location? Mother. I wish we could talk just one more time. Her Majesty, Majesty Jessamine Caldwin. No one could help you, dear sister. I didn't break it, you little liar. No one remember the truth, except me, Jessamine. I will always remember. She's that actively angry about the fact that, as a little girl, her sister blamed her for something breaking. It's... she's really holding on to it. And unfortunately, it's just such a strong- it's such a recurring trope, too, that it's not a very compelling story point. If nothing else, I- because I just encountered it earlier this year in The Witcher, of all games. So it's not even something I've, I've- it's not even something that I'm seeing for the first time this year, as far as story arcs go, for villain motivation. And it didn't feel that strong in that game, either. <laughs> Alright, I think I can get away with, with that being spotted. The algae's all dried out. That makes it easier to collect. Less messy. You can still smell it. How much of the algae does our Lady Delilah want? And what's it for? Tell me. I won't let the secret slip. She just needs a bit, and if you promise to keep your tongue in your head, I'll tell you. It's part of her new undertaking. A painting to end all paintings, she says. Some great new magics she's concocting. After taking Dunwall Tower itself, what more could our mistress want? Delilah wants the whole world's love. The seas around it, and the stars above it. All the more reason to deal with this. Oh, that's also where the rune is hiding, so I need, I need to get inside. And this is not how I get inside. Down there, maybe? Let's try going up first. Safer. Possibly. So we need to, need to find our way- There's, there we go, we have an open ceiling. I need my way inside here for the rune. Maybe a simultaneous takedown? We need to know how many there are. There's one here, one there, two of them. They've been talking to each other. This one's looking straight at the other one, so I should probably go for them first. No! Well, this is gonna be awkward when she starts stabbing me in a second here. Ow, rude. There we go. Quiet now. Is there someone else? There you are. Give me a second. I'm almost done with, almost done with your friend. Hi. There we go. Quiet now. Quiet now. That's frustrating when I try to do the... the, uh... the falling takedown and it doesn't work. I bet you it would have worked perfectly if I tried to murder them, but it's the one where you do a, the quiet takedown. Not really quiet, but the, uh, the non-lethal takedown where the game fights me for it. Hello? The rune's like right over here, right? Oh, it's hidden away behind, okay. Well, let's look for collectibles. Anything else around here I can use? There's another Adermeyer here. Unfortunately, I don't think I need it. Well, that's plenty fortunate, to be fair. How do I get under the staircase? This seems like their spot. Yeah, there we go. Another Adermeyer solution. Sewer and pump room inspection. Water level's normal, severe rain, can't believe what happened today. Oh, cool. So it starts out as just a journal, but then it turns into story after that. Can't believe what happened today. Looks like we got ourselves a new empress out of nowhere. I don't like it. I didn't get word from anyone. Not sure if I'm s supposed to continue working as usual. 
Remove the dead hound stuck in gate 14D. It doesn't feel safe outside. I'll just hide here for a while. I found myself a good spot near the pump room. I heard people talking in the sewers. Two of those strange women who came to live in the tower with the new empress. They were collecting moss and algae from the walls. Stayed maybe an hour, scraping and chanting. I wonder what it was for. Are they cleaning the sewers? That doesn't make any sense. And how do they know I still work here? Does anyone? Oh, and, oh, and do they know that I still work here? Does anyone? The women came back, still scratching the sewer walls for algae, but they talked about human bones they used some kind of recipe. Or maybe I, maybe I misunderstood. What should I do? I need, to, I need to get out of here before they find me, or before I starve to death. I'll take my chances tonight. Did they make it? We. It may be impossible for us to ever know. But one way or another, they probably fled. Which is the right call to make when a bunch of witches are talking about using bones for their recipes. Uh... You have bones, so you should probably get the fuck out. <laughs> what is the point of her to- She's just like a vengeful, nightmare villain. Her motivations don't make sense, her behavior doesn't make sense. She doesn't really want power, she's like, the idea that she just wants to run, rule this place because she felt wronged is so petty and shitty, considering that she seems to have no interest in actually ruling, and, like, she's, it's not like she's trying to, like, take over to make the place better or more in line with her image, she's just using it as a seat of power to do whatever the fuck she feels like, as far as I can tell. She's not interested in making a specific type of kingdom, she's just interested in having whatever power she needs to do what she wants and then move on from there, probably. And anyone who dies, dies, to the point where it's, it feels like there's not even anyone left. Well, in we go. Level three. Final level? Second to last level? Not sure yet. This is a freaky image. Looks like people are poisoning people by force-feeding them something. Is it rat carcass? Maybe plague? There's a creepy skeletal figure in the middle. Dunwall Tower. Non-stop corpses. What the fuck? Face as Delilah's up in the throne. But a few days ago, black has polished on as he marked her flesh. My flesh. She probably found it funny using the chapel as a studio. Mixing pigments where those fools used to preach their nonsense. But she moved to the throne room once she was ready to start her new painting. Always exciting when she starts to sculpt or paint. Yes, but this one is special. Delilah says it's going to change everything. The world and all the spheres beyond. Go sneak a peek of it, if you dare. So she's painting now. Right now. So we picked the perfect day to come back, apparently. So we have three charms and a rune here. On top of all the witches and so on. I can use the elevator to reach Delilah up in the throne room. That elevator? Seems like it's broken. They're always broken, aren't they? Note from Delilah. Following the Abbey's pathetic assault, I want the power shut off in the security room. I want this rickety old contraption locked. No more supplicants from the city riding up to beg for my graces. Come to my throne room only if your need is dire. And woe be to anyone from outside the coven who disturbs me while I'm painting. The overseers were probably the last of our significant enemies, and now they're beaten. I trust you can handle anyone else who comes along. Your Empress, Delilah called one. To restore power to the elevator, I'll have to reach the security room. Okay then, that's what we're doing. Fuck your door. Might as well use the power that I got, right? Oh, subterranean. I bet we can expect rats. Oh, chain. Uh, drop. There we go. Oh. This was an alternate entrance, apparently. So it's not something I can use in any real way. It's just another way I could have, I could have gotten this far. 
So destroying the door was, wasn't that useful for me. That's fine. So we've seen two witches so far. So I think I can most, mostly ignore them. They should be able to just hop up here. So that, mean, that must be their leader, right? Of the overseers? Oh! That's two bone charms right there. Right in the same spot, together. Seems like a trap. That'd be a nice touch if my collect if the collectible was literally a trap for once. I feel like that hasn't really happened before. That's just some glowy bits. Well, I might as well find out. Is he alive, perhaps? Oh, dogs. High overseer. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, another time. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay. Uh. Hi. Nope. Hey, good job. Oh, the other one wasn't broken yet. I may have just killed that lady with a sword strike. Not the intention. Kinda just happened. Is she dead? Oh, she's dead. Welp. That was unintentional, but you know what? They were in an ambush to kill me, so... Self-defense on some level. But yeah, that was an external sword strike. Man, I love stun mines. Look at that. Look at that! They're all down! The whole horde of them! I'm out of stun mines, though. That makes me sad. I'm sad now. I also had to use a healing item. Not that sad about that, but mildly disappointed, I guess. So that's two of them down. I don't even know which ones I picked up, unfortunately. Maybe I can find them. Which one did I click on? Liquid Sustenance is a good one. Bird of Prey, Spirit Water. Oh! Get mana from water instead of uh, health. Obviously, that's better for me. Getting food, it's already easy to get health. Solid landing. It's probably not it. These all look familiar to me. It's probably a red one then I got. Power slash stolen breath. Oh, pulling enemies towards you with fire reach is now stealthy and quiet. But far reach consumes more mana than, uh, for all uses. That's kind of neat. That fits with, uh, what I'd want to do then. If I could snatch people from across the screen, for example, with, uh, with far reach, that's cool. Well, that's the ambush taken care of. So here we are, where my dear lying half-sister Jessamine and I played as children. Where your mother bedded your father, then gave birth to you. Where she was murdered by Dowd and his black-hearted crew. The place that ruined both our lives. You have a twisted view of the world. And I have no idea whether you're telling the truth or not. But it doesn't matter. Huh. So we've been seeing these talking statues ever since the, uh... Did ever since Dowd's campaign. Brianna was the first to hear our call. We've seen these, uh, ever since Dowd's campaign, and I have to wonder, like, do they, uh... Are they- does she just, like, s teleport into that thing? Like, may- like, does she extend her brain, her consciousness to that, and talk through it? In the moment of, uh... What's in here? Does she talk through it whenever, uh, I walk up to one? Or, uh, does she, like, leave a message? Or does she leave a, c a fragment of her soul that... W that reacts like it's her. I wonder if she's properly conscious of it. Like, does she know I'm here right now? Then? Because I talked to that thing? Because if so, then that's probably bad stealth sense for me to be doing that. There's a rune at the back of this place, it looks like. Take care of those. Oh, she's dead. I think. Yeah. Not really what I was looking for. I won't. I won't uh, decline it, but it's not what I'm looking for. There's someone up there. 
right up there, actually. Oh, are, are we at a dead end here? I kind of thought more would come of this. Oh, this might be a path, actually. Aha. Interesting. This is certainly a form of access. Oh. Well, she didn't catch me. That was a close one, though. There's a rune, but it's like the next floor down. None of them look like they're really close by. There's two witches in that room. I think they stopped giving me money, because I they don't expect me to go back to the store for the rest of the game, probably. Oh. It runs through its veins, rendered from the fat of leviathans from the deep, icy waters. It has nothing to do with our mistress's magic. Not touched by the void at all. Could we make one of bones, I wonder? Like the Gravehounds. Delilah could, with Brianna's help. She was always oh so clever with the bones of things. That's so creepy how their illusions fall like, fail like that. But Brianna's cut off from Delilah's magic now. There's room for another of us to become her favorite. We should make a man of bones to win her favor. With Jindosh's mind turned to mush, his clockwork toys won't last forever. They just fade in and out of being creepy nightmares. Oh, so long ago, we ran across the rooftops, made campfires in the graveyard, slept through the day. Few things around here I could potentially use. They're not really looking down here right now. But there's the soldier. That's the issue. Gotta watch out for that guy. Alright, I think I have a way of circumventing this though. Let's find out where this thing leads. Oh! Corpses in the bathroom. Fun. Oh, Really in the bathroom. Invitation from Her Majesty Empress Delilah Caldwin. To the Duchess De uh, Lucille Clothilda. I hope this note finds you in good health. Yours was the first such correspondence offering me fealty and officially denouncing the murderous Emily Caldwin. Swift actions such as yours deserve reciprocity. Come join me for a dinner in your honor. My kitchen will prepare jellied oysters, herring and gravy, and some of those unusual Mor uh, Morlean clams that thrive only in brackish waters. Let it be tomorrow evening, for I am eager to show how I feel toward one who is so quick to change allegiance. And Bristol Delilah Caldwin. So here's the recurring thing we see in a lot of different uh, fictions where Somebody who who does a coup or a betrayal or a change of allegiance, like, takes the place over, they are quick to kill off anyone who is a little too fast at changing teams, because those people are the most likely to betray them. And so here she is, dead in the bathroom because she was quick to betray me. Some tiny catharsis for Emily, perhaps. But not enough. That's so close. Gotta be careful, because these things can see in both directions at once. Alright, so I've successfully gone around the corner. Those pipes up there I could use. I'm gonna want to go this way, though, I think. Okay, those are all dead. Which is good. Otherwise, I'd be in some trouble here trying to sneak in here. Ah! That was a... That's another clockwork. There's three bodies here. Something's up there. Not dead yet. Don't see anything up here. Oh. There's one to worry about. So there's the chapel I should investigate. There's the security room I have to go to. There's a bone charm. There's a bone charm. That one's- that's easy to get to. 
Let's try that one next. Oh, doggy. Oh, doggy. Oh, doggy. No, doggy. Alright, new path. Uh, what? You lied to me. You said you were gonna climb. Yeah, people- just do the arrows and you're fine, people say. But even the arrows lie to you. Cause... The... The blinking... Was already weird in this game, but this new version is such a... Glitchy nightmare at times. She coming this way? That's bad. Do I have a special trick to use? Not necessarily. Uh... Best approach is probably to warp behind her. Yep, there we go. There we go. Clean. There we go, that was lucky. It's weird because I think she's supposed to be able to see me move when I when I do that. I don't think it's supposed to be seen as a teleport, but a quick movement, so I'm supposed to be detectable in that state. Watch out for that dog. Careful. Quietly. Search is underway. You know you you detecting me, game? Oh, that's why. They found the body. Relocation sickness. Witches sometimes stumble off balance after magical relocation. That's not terrible. It's probably better than the, the drinking from water thing. I don't even know where to drink from water. Mary Kate's Diary. The high and mighty overseer himself was here when Delilah took the throne. The look on his face as she vanquished Emily and fa uh, Emily the False and her Sarkonan father will forever keep a candle flame flickering in my heart. Watching him beat a frantic uh, a retreat, knowing he'd return with others of his bulviating sect, knowing they would fall before us. It was delicious. The tower is ours now. Dunwall and Karnaka are ours. Soon, too... The oracular sisters, with their, with my mistress, uh, when my mi and w and when my mistress finishes her painting, we will own all the empire, Mary Kate. Let's see. Watching him beat a retreat, knowing he'd return with others of his sect. Oh, they're talking about the Overseer. Okay. I thought they were talking about- I, I thought they were talking about Corvo for a second there when they talked about the retreat specifically. I'm like, nah, that's not what happened. But no, that, that's, that was the Overseer specifically. Alright, he might search in here, so I have to be careful. Adamar solution. No one has stun grenades around here. They're all- all these ma all these witches only have spell casting and healing items. Which is not great for me. I don't want to get spotted by that guy. One bone charm waiting for me there. That's about it, right? Yeah. Bone charm, chapel, security room. That one's close by. Uh, are they going to come here? That could get me in some trouble. Yeah, they're coming right by. Oh. They're coming after me because of some noise being made. So now they're gonna leave. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Yes. They're probably here because the, uh... The clockwork soldier found a body. Yep, there's the unconscious one. There she is. There's the chapel. And there's the bone charm we're looking for. Right through here. I thought you of all people would understand. Those nights as a girl in the Hound Pits pub. Didn't you dream of getting this crown back? It was stolen from me first. 
even before you came into the world. Yeah, and what are you doing with it? Just having fun being a crazy witch that seeks power? It's like, fuck you and your, your supposed entitlement to this throne. You're not doing anything with it. Is he going inside? Yeah, he is. Here's the bone charm. There's the bodies. There she is. Damn it. I'm trying to find a way inside there. Oh! Jesus Christ, these things are everywhere. I don't think he wants to get caught. It's not, not a bad sign for me. Don't look at me. I'm gonna go into stealth mode. See if that helps. Let's try to get to this guy. Since he's not loyal. Shit, how do I get there? Oh, there's two of you. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. I couldn't- Oh, you chopped her head off. Shit. Oh shit, everything's fucked. Everything's fucked. Okay. God damn it, I didn't see there was a second one. I couldn't see shit because I was in my crazy form. Maybe that'll work? How do I get to this guy? How do I get to him? Damn it. There's gotta be a way. A vent or something? This is a brief escape. Wow, that totally worked. That doppelganger is effective. So that, that thing where they think that they killed the actual person works. Which is weird, because they're magicians. You think that they wouldn't fall for that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know how to get to that guy. He's like hidden away somewhere. Maybe there's a, a hole in the roof. Or some other floor. No one appears to be in here. Alright, I'll grab what I can. Oh, you can go through the fireplace. The Royal Protector's Chambers. So this is Corvo's room. Daddy, oh, mommy. Those are those are paint. Those are drawings that I made when I was really young. Then that was a different time. Well, it's handy to find those. Still don't know how to get to where I'm trying to get. Might be able to throw something flammable at the uh, enemy guards. Let's see. Sneaky, sneaky. So this is the, one of the first ones we were dealing with. I'll dump her here. That's a bit more out of line of sight where she's le less likely to be spotted. Okay. This is the main hall. There's a way in, it might be over here. So I'm not seeing it anywhere else. There's one of them. Don't have to deal with the other one because they got killed. Is there an entrance over here? Not really seeing a sign of it, no. He's hiding in there with something. That I might have to get in through the roof or the floor. There's got to be a trick to it. Might want to sneak up behind the other person and choke them next, because this should be easy to access at this point. Oh, I remember this kind of chamber. Oh, yeah. 
Now I remember infiltrating this bastard of a level. Right, when we take when we took out the lead the enemy leader of the of the government in the first game, it was in a place like this. I think it's actually actually this should be the same building story wise. That makes sense. That's a dead end. A lot of it's closed off compared to before. You have access to less of it than you did in the first game. Not, not a lot to see around here. Where's the robot? Kind of way off in the distance. I think we can get away with this. There you go. We've knocked out a lot of witches today. Just don't know how to get to that one. I can try to get to that rune, and then other than that, there's the security room and the chapel. They're both that way. So I'm not getting much done by going in this direction. Ow. Giving myself a little bit of scarring, that's fun. Maybe if I go to the chapel, I'll find a way to the guy that's hidden away. Maybe even has a maybe he even has a direct connection to the chapel itself. If he's right there, that room's probably my best call. Your father stands in my throne room. Ah. A statue of cold stone. Th that thing's a bit of a problem. Idling. Commence lens refocus. Definitely want it to go away. Just long enough for me to just warp into the door, perhaps? Don't eat hagfish with a small fork. Whoo! That was almost a bad time. Definitely got at least semi-detected by a few things, but I don't think they're—I don't think they know where I went. Even if they were going after me. Is there one in here too? No. Nope. Is there a tree in the middle of the chapel? Delilah on Rune Harmony. Bending the energies of the void was tricky, but I've managed to corrupt runes of bone for my great painting. I've got all the ingredients ready in the chapel. Dried kelp and algae from the moats, flowers from the greenhouse, ground to dust and made into pigment. Human bones infused with the fluids of terror and regret. Mustering patience, I will continue painting until the final rune is ready to affix to the throne. My throne. But harmony must be maintained between the corrupt runes and their pure counterparts. Too corrupt aligned with two of the purest. Uh, if this harmony is not observed, the magic of the painting could get twisted around and fail. Or even turn against me. Delilah's working on something terrible, but I might be able to sabotage it. With the algae? So I- so she's working on something that has to be balanced and I can just fuck with the balance, basically. That sounds like fun. Human bone. Kind of concerning. What's up here? Pigment. So I can construct something that messes with her Crafting balance. more corrupt runes, I could disrupt Delilah's painting. That's a good idea. It worked. I painted the chapel, but added a tree to the painting. After arranging the runes across the chair, both pure and corrupted, I was able to transpose the chapel made of paint with the one made of stone. With more runes, I should be able to do the same to all the Empire. This will be my greatest undertaking, transposing my painting. The world as it should be. With this wretched dung heap we're all born into. At last, all will be made proper and good. So she's trying to replace reality with a painted world, basically. One that that bows to her women and exists exactly how she wants it to. Which is, uh... Well, that explains why she doesn't give a shit about anyone surviving or not in here, and why she's so reckless with this existence, is because she thinks she's just gonna delete it, basically. Also, weird how much Painted Worlds are a reoccurring thing. It's in here, it's in Dark Souls, it's in Witcher. It happens a lot.
that looks nasty. A corrupt rune of bone and skull. Well, there we have it. Now let's go jam it in a rune hole. A powerful and unstable rune crafted with from human remains. Nasty. Main objective is to restore power. So we got our non our non lethal approach now. I just need to figure out where to put it. And I need to restore power to proceed. One last secret hidden away is that bone charm, which I think leads us to uh, the guy that the, the guy that I can't reach. Oh yeah, it has to. It's in the same room as him. I need to figure out how to get there. Don't know if it'll affect the outcome, but there's a character in there. I want to meet them, story-wise. Sneak around a bit down here and see if I can find myself a path. It's also that rune. How do I get to that spot? Uh, we'll check. We'll check over here next. General detection state. Ooh. It was close one, yes. I remember that corner. Yeah, I've been there before. How did I get to that rune down there? How did I get to any of these things I'm trying to find? Getting mildly frustrated. We'll be happy to have another stun mine. Kind of want to see what I can do with these guys now. There we go. One less of those guys to deal with. There are marks on our flesh, made by the knife of Remove a few of those and this whole thing gets a lot easier to explore. Okay. I may not have my knockout ability, but if I link these characters, I can knock them out together. That'd be nice. You're linked. You can turn. Any intention of turning around? Not going anywhere. Here it comes. There we go. That's a nice ability. That's the ability to have a ranged takedown without having to use a sleep dart. Nope. But then there's this problem. Something I can work with, though. Oh, yeah? One less of you to deal with. Thank you. she find me? Yeah, she did. Ooh, you look friendly. Oh, there's two of them now. Well, she it. How do you want to die? Okay. You're being very rude right now. Please don't kill your friend. I shouldn't have to say that. But you seem intent on it sometimes. Oh, I died. Crap. I guess she was hitting me? Huh. I think she might have hit me with her sword, but the game didn't have the visual, the audio-visual feedback of like, Oh no, you're hit! So like, my health just silently went down, and it, it, without me noticing it. Huh. Still, the robots are easy to deal with, and that does kind of clear things up so I can just look around freely and find where the hell this the entrance is to this guy that's stashed away. When was the last save? Ah!